Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Hamilton and this is The Dragon Room. I am so excited that y'all can join me today. For you, today I have a read aloud, which as you know is one of my favorite activities. I'm going to be continuing the read aloud of our series from Lewis Satcher's Wayside series. And before I get started, I have a very exciting announcement for you. And that is that Lewis Satcher has written another book in the Wayside series, and I have checked it out from the library just for you. So, Keep an eye out for that, and I will be recording myself doing the read aloud of that book as well once we've finished with the one I'm going to start today. This is the third book in the Wayside series. It is called Wayside School is Falling Down, and I'm going to read it to you today. For Mrs. Jules. Lewis, the yard teacher, frowned. The schoolyard was a mess. There were pencils and pieces of paper everywhere. How'd all this junk get here, he wondered. Well, I'm not going to pick it up. It wasn't his job to pick up garbage. He was just supposed to pass out the balls during lunch and recess and also make sure the kids didn't kill each other. He sighed, then began cleaning it up. He loved all the children at Wayside School. He didn't want them playing on a dirty playground. As he was picking up the pencils and pieces of paper, a large truck drove into the parking lot. It honked its horn twice, then twice more. Lewis ran to the truck. Quiet, he whispered. Children are trying to learn in there. He pointed at the school. A short man with big, bushy hair stepped out of the truck. I have a package for somebody named Mrs. Jules, he said. I'll take it, said Lewis. Are you Mrs. Jules, asked the man. No, said Lewis. I have to give it to Mrs. Jules, said the man. Lewis thought a moment. He didn't want the man disturbing the children. He knew how much they hated to be interrupted when they were working. I'm Mrs. Jules, he said. But... You just said you weren't, Mrs. Jules, said the man. I changed my mind, said Lewis. The man got the package out of the back of the truck and gave it to Lewis. Here you go, Mrs. Jules, he said. Oh, Lewis grunted. It was a very heavy package. The word fragile was printed on every side. He had to be careful not to drop it. <sighs> The package was so big, Lewis couldn't see where he was going. Fortunately, he knew the way to Mrs. Jules's class by heart. It was straight up. Wayside School was 30 stories high. With only one room on each story, Mrs. Jules's class was at the very top. It was Lewis's favorite class. He pushed through the door to the school, then started up the stairs. There was no elevator. There were stairs that led down to the basement, too, but nobody ever went down there. There were dead rats living in the basement. The box was pressed against Lewis's face, squashing his nose. Even so, when he reached the 15th floor, he could smell Miss Mush cooking in the cafeteria. It smelled like she was making mushrooms. Maybe on my way back, I'll stop by Miss Mush's room and get some mushrooms, he thought. He didn't want to miss Miss Mush's mushrooms. They were her specialty. He huffed and groaned and continued up the stairs. His arms and legs were very sore, but he didn't want to rest. The package must be important, he thought. I have to get it to Mrs. Jules right away. He stepped easily from the 18th story to the 20th. There was no 19th story. Mrs. Arves taught the class on the 19th story. There was no Mrs. Arves. At last, he struggled up the final step to the 30th story. He knocked on Mrs. Jules' door with his head. 
Mrs. Jules was in the middle of teaching her class about gravity when she heard the knock. Oh, come in, she called. I, I can't open the door, Louis gasped. My hands are full. I have a package for you. Mrs. Jules faced the class. Who wants to open the door for Louis, she asked. All the children raised their hands. They loved to be interrupted while they were working. Oh dear, how shall I choose, asked Mrs. Jules. I have to be fair about this. I know, we'll have a spelling bee and the winner will get to open the door. Louis knocked his head against the door again. It's heavy, he complained, and I'm very tired. Just a second, Mrs. Jules called back. Uh, Allison, the first word's for you. Heavy. Heavy, said Allison. H-E-A-V-Y. Heavy. Very good. Um, uh, Jason, you're next. Tired. Tired, said Jason. S-L-E-E-P-Y. Tired. Lewis felt the package slipping from his sweaty fingers. He shifted his weight to get a better grip. <sighs> the corners of the box dug into the side of his arms. He felt his hands go numb. Actually, he didn't feel them go numb. Jenny, package. Package, said Jenny. B-O-X, package. Excellent, said Mrs. Jules. Lewis felt like he was going to faint. At last, John opened the door. I won the spelling bee, Lewis, he said. Very good, John, muttered Lewis. Aren't you gonna shake my hand, asked John. Lewis lifted the box to one arm, quickly shook J John's a hand then grabbed the box again and staggered into the room. Oh, where do you want it, Mrs. Jules? He asked. I don't know, said Mrs. Jules. What's in it? I don't know, said Lewis. I'll have to put it down someplace so you can open it. But how can I tell you where to put it until I know what it is? Asked Mrs. Jules. You might put it in the wrong place. So Lewis held the box as Mrs. Jules stood on a chair next to him and tore open the top. His legs wobbled beneath him. <gasps> it's a computer, exclaimed Mrs. Jules. Everyone booed. Ooh. What's the matter, asked Lewis. I thought everyone loved computers. We don't want it, Lewis, said Eric Bacon. Take it back, Jack, said Terrence. Get that piece of junk out of here, said Mauricia. Now, don't be that way, said Mrs. Jules. The computer will help us learn. It's a lot quicker than a paper and pencil. But the quicker we learn, the more work we have to do, complained Todd. You may set it over there on the counter, Lewis, said Mrs. Jules. Lewis set the computer on the counter next to Sherry's desk. Then, he collapsed on the floor. Now watch closely, said Mrs. Jules. Everyone gathered around the new computer. It had a full color monitor and two disk drives. Mrs. Jules pushed it out the window. They all watched it fall and smash against the sidewalk. See, said Mrs. Jules, that's gravity. Oh! Now I get it, said Joe. Thank you, Lewis, said Mrs. Jules. I've been trying to teach them about gravity all morning. We had been using pencils and pieces of paper, but the computer was a lot quicker. If you liked that video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you never miss a video. I've been Mrs. Hamilton, and you have been awesome. Annyeong!